What's up pilots? I'm gonna continue videos on drag. Today we're gonna talk about parasite drag. Real quick, if you haven't subscribed, click the little YouTube logo in the bottom right of the screen to subscribe so you get notifications of my videos. Hopefully they're really helpful. So if you think so, then subscribe and that way you can get notifications whenever I post a new video. And then as always, follow me on Instagram at part period time period pilot or go to my website right now there's a free study guide downloads. So if you go to my website, go in the menu and go to free study guide, you can just enter your email and you get a free study guide over 170 slides, uh, completely free. Okay, enough of that stuff. Let's get into the video. So last video I uploaded was about drag. We talked about how there's two types of drag. There's parasite drag and induced drag. Today we're gonna talk about parasite drag. So there's, there's three different forms of parasite drag. We have form drag, interference drag, and skin friction drag. We're gonna talk about each of those in this video. So form drag. Form drag is a type of parasite drag caused by the shape of the aircraft. So air molecules in the free steam flow must get out of the way of the different parts of an aircraft. And an aerodynamic object, such as an airfoil of a wing, would have low form drag, while a non-aerodynamic object, like a flat plate, would have high form drag. Okay, so when you think of, when someone says, oh wow, that Lamborghini is aerodynamic, uh, the reason is because of, the, because of the shape of it, that smooth aerodynamic shape, it allows the flow to smoothly flow over the car and there's no resistance from form drag as opposed to if you've ever driven like a Jeep on the freeway and you really feel like any wind at all, that's because of those right angles are not aerodynamic and the flow has to try and get out of the way, but when you're at really higher speed, high speeds, it just can't get it out of the way, so it just hits your car and you, you can feel that while you're driving it. So the air is unable to get out of the way of a high form drag shape, so this is like the Jeep in my example, while staying attached to the surface of the Jeep. Okay, so this is almost, this is just like when we reach a stall, because the wing is pitched up so much, the air can't, turn the corner around the front of the wing and stay attached to the wing because it's such a right angle almost right so the right angles of the jeep the flow just can't stay attached this causes separated and turbulent air behind it which causes form drag so here we just have a visual example so you have the air flowing on a flat plate right it's trying to get around it and stay attached but it can't because it's just these right angles that was a bad angle, but these right angles on this flat plate, it just can't turn the corner fast enough and it ends up making, spir uh, making vortices, which cause drag and decrease lift drastically. While here on the airfoil, you know, this looks like a, a bird, you know, a hawk in a dive or a torpedo or something. It's just perfectly aerodynamic and you can see this, the flow of the air can stay completely attached and has low form drag. Okay, so now the next one is interference drag. So interference drag is the type of parasite drag caused from intersecting lines of airflow. So what does that mean? So there are several surfaces on an aircraft that cause air to deflect and move in different directions, such, such that some of these deflections will end up intersecting and impede one another, causing drag. So while the wings cause the air to just stay attached and, sl and slip past over the top and below them, the propeller is totally disturbing the air causing vortices and so these air these different streams of air might run into each other and bounce pretty much bounce off each other and cause drag because they're disrupting each other's flow so i'll try and explain this in a in a picture here so as i was talking about the the spiraling slipstream coming off a propeller so you have air you know, streaming off like this, and it can go around an aircraft, right? And then you have free stream air, meanwhile, coming right over the wings. And these two can intersect, and basically this spiraling slipstream from the propeller can basically interfere with this free stream air and disrupt the flow of that air, which decreases lift and causes, causes drag at that point. So I like to think of them as like jets, the jets of water, right? So if you have, you know, jets of water s twirling around here 
and then you have a you spray a straight jet in into it you know all the water is gonna they're gonna collide and all go different directions so the last one is skin friction drag so this is a type of parasite drag caused by the skin of an aircraft so what the heck is the skin of an aircraft well for to to really visualize the skin of an aircraft we have to think on the microscopic level so if we were the size of an air molecule then we could see what we're talking about here so let's imagine we are the size of a an air molecule so even though on the surface of the aircraft if you touch it with your hands it's going to feel smooth but even on the most smooth surfaces if you look at a microscope at the microscopic level you're going to see imperfections on that surface and rough roughness so this roughness causes the air molecule that come in contact with it to stick to the surface so at that small at that small sizes there's different forces that will cause the air molecules to become sticky okay so there's intermolecular forces so one the molecules are sticky and two the surface is imperfect so the air molecules closest to the surface of the aircraft will be impeded by this roughness so you have a stream of air and you have at the top of the stream furthest away from the from the skin of the aircraft they're not affected but then really close to the skin of the aircraft those air molecules are going to stick to the skin and get impeded by this, the roughness of the skin and have a velocity of zero and then as i said as you move away they're less affected by the roughness and then eventually you're going to get further enough away where they're not impeded by the roughness at all so this thickness where they are affected is called the boundary layer you may hear that in uh, any aerodynamic talk that you might have and to visualize this let's try and zoom in here so we have an airfoil and you have these blue lines of flow and then in this red area we're gonna zoom in okay so imagine this is zoomed in and can you, you can see you know I made little imperfections at the microscopic level and then all these black dots are the air molecules so on the streamlines really close to it they just they run into these bumps and they get stuck so they're, they're all getting stuck so they have a velocity of zero and it's it's just causing a huge traffic jam so you you got flow coming over and then they're just running into each other and running into the roughness and then a little bit further away up here you know you still have an effect because you got these air molecules bunching up and so they're trying to get around it uh, but they're still affected right they're not smoothly flowing past unaffected and then as you get fur further enough away outside the boundary layer you're gonna have just free stream where these air molecules are in a single final line single file line just flowing past uh, unaffected so this impedance very close to the surface of the, the the skin of the aircraft is skin friction drag okay if you have any questions about any of these please drop a comment below and please subscribe for my next video which we'll talk about induced drag and then if you're not following me on instagram please do so and remember for that free study guide just go to parttimepilot.com look in the menu for the free study guide enter your email it's completely free it's really good information for you guys so go check it out all right thanks